Nothing seems out of the ordinary for Pasco County Sheriff's Office deputies searching a house for a wrongdoer. However, the situation is about to turn quite interesting. Police search for Jason Taylor in his Pasco County home due to a felony warrant for a probation violation related to a weapon-involved robbery. While officers searched the house, including the master bedroom, Taylor remains elusive. As they're about to abandon the room, one officer, heading to the back, spots Taylor's wife's suspicious behavior and discovers the hiding spot. Come out. Your hands up, you're gonna get taser shot. Come out, come out, come out, come out, get out, come out. Get, on get on the ground. As out of a magic show, Taylor appears coming out of the side of a drawer that was made into a hiding place for him. Luckily, the unbelievable event is recorded by the officer's body camera. Taylor was taken into custody and held on a $50,000 bond. When Douglas County's police officers and firefighters in Virginia responded to an apartment building fire, an unexpected situation awaited them. In the early evening of a cold November day in Alexandria, a fire ignited on Broadway Street, extinguished by the fire crew. The police remained to investigate. They soon discovered the cause when a 35-year-old woman fell through the ceiling, claiming she was trying to escape a man. Her attempt revealed illegal substances in her pockets, leading to her arrest. Shortly after, the police car left the scene without any officers inside. Jennifer Hillard, the suspect, had freed herself from the handcuffs, moved to the driver's seat, and fled the scene, reaching up to 120 miles per hour. Fortunately, she was stopped and charged with many crimes. Officers in La Crosse, Wisconsin, were grateful for their body cameras when they encountered an unusual reaction from a man during a routine questioning. <laughs> Baby, I love you! Bailey, I love you so much, baby, I promise. On May 23, 2021, in the early hours of the morning, the local police were called to locate the person behind a hit and run. They knocked on the door of a suspicious man, only to find he was extremely intoxicated and erratic in his behavior. Calling for his wife and showing his intimate parts to both his grandmother and police officers, this man was set to get himself into more trouble. Can I give her a hug, please? I want to give her a hug. Bailey Ann! No, are you injured anywhere else? No. Okay. I'm not at all. A 21 year old man who had crashed into a tree and fled the scene displayed fearlessness in driving under the influence of illegal substances, but couldn't hold back tears when the police apprehended him. This incident marked his fifth arrest for driving under the influence, revealing a pattern of repeated offenses. This Metro Atlanta police officer got fired for making a ridiculous claim. How's it going? Lost an insurance. This looks like just a regular pullover procedure, but it's from this incident that former officer James Sanders is still appealing his termination from the police department. After hearing 17-year-old boys scream profanity against the police out of the car's window, Sanders decided to pursue the vehicle and ask them to pull to the side. After giving a lesson or two to the embarrassed teenagers, he says something that cost him his policeman title. Believe it, but I swear to God, I can beat him at basketball. You can't shoot. You still gotta play moves. Dude, let me tell you something. I got two damn torn lig torn up ligaments. I will smoke both of y'all. Y'all can play. In the role of the intimidating cop, Sander is heard threatening to fight the boys through his body camera. Not even his fellow police officer can believe it, and at times he shushes Sanders, seeing how he is burying himself even deeper. When attempting to evade the police by seeking refuge in a restroom, this man's efforts proved futile. The officer's body camera captured the details of his arrest without any resistance. Come out, come out. Put your hands behind your back. Put that down. Put that down. Put your hands behind your back. Put against the wall right here. Cleveland Hopkins International Airport in Ohio witnesses frequent handcuffing incidents. Despite the extensive surveillance, Michael Pissos dared to commit a theft, disregarding the numerous cameras. I need to get your information. Hold on, Mama. Girl, I'm like, I'm over here talking to her and she's trying to brush me up. I'm like, no, somebody just took my bag. And I see you walking down with it. Luckily, 
The bag that Pissos had stolen was returned to its owner, who was already under much stress. In fact, Pissos had decided to steal not only one, but two suitcases from passengers who were to pick them up at the baggage belt. According to reports from the airport, there's at least one luggage theft every month, and the cases are rising. These policemen appeared confident in their ability to apprehend the culprit. Watch as another obstacle hinders the wrongdoer's escape. Go, 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 go. August 18th of this year, a calm and quiet West Allis in Wisconsin witnesses a high-speed chase of a stolen KIA. As the car moves throughout town, the policemen are sure they almost got them when something makes the chase even more dangerous. 702, I'm behind it. Continue to call it out for me. The police dash cam video depicts a brief, yet relatively safe chase, until the vehicle suddenly catches fire. Despite their driving skills, the officers were astounded to find three teenage girls responsible for the reckless act. A 14-year-old driver and two 15-year-old passengers, all native from Milwaukee. Fortunately, the officers managed to apprehend them when they tried to escape on foot. In Tempe, Arizona, a police officer pursues a man suspected of a nearby home theft. Both the officer and the suspect engage in intense parkour. After all the physical exertion, the question remains, will the officer apprehend the burglar? Thanks to the neighbors identifying the suspect, and thanks to the latter for wearing the victim's clothes, the officer was quick to start running after him. To everybody's relief, he was caught and apprehended just before jumping yet another wall. Norwood, Massachusetts, Ryan Brown is fleeing police for possession of illegal substances. The chase lasts only for a couple of minutes until something life-threatening occurs. Driving up to speeds of 80 miles per hour, Brown is seen colliding against the back of another car. Police are ready to arrest him, but he quickly backs down and escapes again. The Norwood officers start the pursuit once again, but their purpose will drastically change this time. Around 2.30 a.m., Brown is stopped after crashing into a pole. Officers are prepared to handcuff him, but as they approach the driver's seat, they discover an injured and unconscious Ryan Brown just moments away from a potential car fire. He was fortunate to be rushed to Cincinnati Medical Center for surgery. Subsequently, he faced multiple charges, including illegal substance possession, OVI, DUI, failure to comply, and driving with a suspended license. This man thought that police officers wouldn't notice he was lying and driving under the influence. But unfortunately for him, he gave himself away in the blink of an eye. That's good, man. You know I did. I'm just trying to get her home, man. You know that. Oh, sure. can, get, can I just, like, pay this ticket or whatever? On March 17th, 2021, in Oakdale, Wisconsin, a Monroe County Sheriff's deputy had a routine shift. Things took an interesting turn when he pulled over a man named Dupree, who repeatedly lied about being intoxicated. Despite thinking he passed a sobriety test, Dupree later shifted to accusing the officer. I also got a warrant out for your arrest. I got to figure out what that's for. So what? I'm not sure. I don't, I'm... Upon checking the car's registration, the deputy arrested Dupree. It was his sixth drunk driving offense and multiple other charges. These charges included tampering with an ignition interlock device designed to prevent a driver from starting the car without passing a breathalyzer test. Crosby, 21, and Simpson, 30, engaged in large-scale illicit substance trafficking. The police used a common technique to prevent their escape, significantly changing their circumstances. Florida Highway Patrol troopers initiated a high-speed chase on Interstate 95 in Brevard County to apprehend wanted criminals Crosby and Simpson who carried illicit substances and forged IDs. 
Despite being pursued by two police vehicles, the suspects resisted, but the officers had a strategic plan. After a brief maneuver, an officer conducted a pit maneuver, causing Crosby's car to lose control and come to a stop. This led to the arrest and subsequent convictions of Crosby and Simpson for multiple crimes. A spontaneous decision may have ended it all for 36-year-old Keith Christen, a native of South Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Even with all odds against him, he managed to fool this officer, but only for a while. On Monday, May 30th, 2016, late at night, a Milwaukee police officer was transporting an inmate when he noticed a speeding car swerving his way along the hectic road. The officer pulled Kristen over and had him take a breathalyzer test due to his unsettled behavior. Kristen evaded capture, sprinting across lanes and scaling a highway wall. He was eventually tasered and apprehended. This marked his sixth DUI offense, potentially leading to over 12 years in prison. Remarkably, Kristen crossed the highway unscathed. In Clinton Township, Michigan, a police dash cam captured footage of a stolen ambulance. The identity of the driver will surprise you. Great man. Driver, stop the ambulance! Stop the ambulance! <laughs> You can see how the MedStar ambulance swerves around while police try to make it stop by calling it out using the megaphones, but that doesn't change the driver's mind. So the Macomb County Sheriff's Office also joins to help their peers. In an act of bravery, a civilian also steps in to help. The truck failed to block the ambulance, the ambulance eventually stopped after colliding with a tree and two deputies' cars. Inside the ambulance were two MedStar employees and a 42-year-old psychiatric patient, Gunnar Alsen, who had taken control of the vehicle. Fortunately, no one sustained serious injuries. Alsen was captured, arrested, and later prosecuted for the incident. In La Crosse, Wisconsin, a woman's night out for fun takes an unexpected turn as she faces consequences for disrupting the peace of others. You're good. You saw that, right? I, I do this shit. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Ma'am, is it okay if we talk over here for a second? I do this shit for real, for real. You go over here. Late on August 11th, 2021, lacrosse officers received a call from a woman named Christina, who was reportedly assaulting people inside a bar while intoxicated. She not only disrupted other patrons, but also refused to leave the establishment. Upon police arrival, she attempted to bribe them with dollar bills from her purse, but her entitlement didn't sway the police, and they took action swiftly. Unfortunately, you do have to go to jail tonight, okay? Wait, let me put... Yeah. When she continued to defy the law, the police arrested Christina immediately. This is another case of instant karma for a Karen on the loose. Early Tuesday morning, August 3rd of this year, the Milwaukee police squad responds to a call of a reckless driver escaping police's attempt to pull him over. When they're on the verge of stopping him, something else does. Trying to do their job, the officers begin a pursuit of a 34-year-old Milwaukee man who still insists on fleeing the scene. Speeding like the culprit on a busy road close to Green Gay and Good Hope is not only dangerous for him and the officers, but also for the civilians who have nothing to do with the criminal's endeavors. Luckily, only he will get hurt. Crash, 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 crash! Sherman North, Sherman North! Screaming, crash, crash, crash. The police officer driving behind the wrongdoer alerts the respondents about the terrible accident. The Milwaukee man had just crashed into a pole on the other side of the road. He gets out of the car like nothing happened, but the justice squad is there to hold him down and apprehend him. It was indeed a lucky day for him since he only had minor injuries to show. A concerned girl fears for her boyfriend's well-being, but things take an unexpected turn when he opens the car door. 19-year-old Cody Patrick Peters from La Crosse, Wisconsin, remains inside his car following a life-threatening crash. Will he survive? You need to take him. 
Oh, is there still someone in here? It's my boyfriend. Okay. You need to take... On the night of March 7th, 2021, Peters drove up to 100 miles per hour along a residential street, resulting in a car wreck. After his girlfriend pleads with police officers to take him out, he opens the car's door alone and gets out physically unharmed but mentally intoxicated. He has just endangered not only his but also innocent people's lives. Now anything he says will only make matters worse. You know what's funny is I got a buddy that's working for the same job you are. You are funny. You don't get killed, buddy. Yep, see you later. Relying on a classical tale of rescue, Peters is put in a police van. Insulting an officer won't alter his fate, as he's charged with multiple felonies. Not only do police officers have to face criminals and menacing situations, but also the forces of nature. March 21st, 2023. Allen County, Indiana, a deputy is going about his way until he is forced to stop to take a breath after experiencing nature's force. A strong EF2 tornado with wind speeds of up to 135 miles per hour suddenly takes shape in front of the deputy's eyes as he swerves the car around to try to escape the situation. Luckily, he exited the event unharmed. Police department. Jason. Jason, are you okay? Driving, or not driving, but... On May 16th, 2021, in West Salem, Wisconsin, local officers responded to a call about a man asleep at the wheel of his running car. Upon investigation, they discovered a strong smell of alcohol and an intoxicated driver. The driver was clearly unfit to operate the vehicle and could not conceal his excessive drinking. Subsequently, following a sobriety test, the officers made a decision. Why do you want to drive? In Wisconsin, if found in the driver's seat of a car after drinking, you can be charged with an OWI, even if not actively driving. The man was arrested and faced his seventh OWI charge. 22-year-old Hunter Berry was being chased down by the Oklahoma City Police when he made a terrible mistake. Hands up now! Hands up! On January 5th, 2023, Berry allegedly stole a vehicle and a firearm with which he started shooting police officers from his car. He loses control of the vehicle at one point and violently collides with a tree. However, Berry does not surrender without putting up a fight. After firing many shots, the deputies finally seized control of Berry, who was screaming out of pain on the ground. Luckily, he was apprehended and taken into custody without further incident. Everything seems to go as regular at a safety cab inspection being conducted at Gallup, New Mexico. However, when an officer starts going through the inventory, he points out a detail that gets the driver into much trouble. Got a couple extra boxes that are not on the bills. On the morning of July 31st, 2020, the New Mexico State Police inspected the cargo of a 2014 Freightliner commercial motor vehicle. The driver, seated in the back, appeared engrossed in his phone. The officer noticed additional unaccounted for boxes, and it was no mistake. They had been deliberately omitted. Inside the vehicle, the officers discovered 495 vacuumed sealed packages of an illegal substance. These bags were hidden inside 20 Home Depot boxes in the trailer of the CMV. The driver and co-driver of the truck were both arrested for possession of almost 600 pounds of the mind-altering narcotic. Multiple misdemeanor and felony warrants were charged to this culprit, who decided to flee police in Clark County, Ohio on April 25, 2023. See how she swerves through the town until an unexpected obstacle gets in the way. A Clark County deputy's dashcam video captures a high-speed chase of Paula Potter, who has evaded law enforcement three times before. 
Refusing to stop, the officer pursues her for several miles until she disappears from sight. Respondents inform the deputy about her next move, which is troublesome. Upon turning a corner, the officer encounters a horrifying scene. Potter's car crashes into a tree, emitting smoke from the engine. Before hitting the tree, Potter had collided with a pole, resulting in a loss of control. She and her passenger, who also had two warrants, were transported to the local hospital and subsequently to jail. Unfortunately, the passenger sustained severe injuries. Driving at nearly 140 miles per hour on a 70 miles per hour interstate road attracted the attention of the police. Fargo native Amy Torres seemed unaware of her excessive speed, prompting Wisconsin officers to intervene and stop her reckless behavior. In fact, 36-year-old Torres was attempting to evade the police after a radar check by a Campbell police officer on I-90 in La Crosse. When the officer clocked Torres' speed, he made a swift turn, initiating a pursuit. The chase came to an end when Torres ran out of gas while crossing the bridge into Minnesota. However, there was a specific reason for Torres's high-speed driving, which we're about to uncover. After asking whether she was in possession of any illegal substances, the authorities searched Torres's vehicle and discovered personal use drugs and paraphernalia. As a result, Amy Torres faced charges for both a felony and a misdemeanor count, in addition to the speeding violation. This dashcam footage shows a woman escaping from police in a hasty high-speed pursuit in Palmer, Ohio. Here. June 15th, 2023. The Palmer Heights Police Department alerted the local police officers about a woman driving high speed, going over sidewalks and flower beds, and colliding into cars along the chase until many attempts to stop her occurred. The Ohio woman, whose identity remains undisclosed, deliberately slows down her car without coming to a complete stop. Fearing the potential ramifications of her reckless actions, prosecutors intentionally collided with her vehicle several times, eventually boxing her in and leading to her arrest. Her motive behind this wrongdoing? She sought police intervention to put an end to her existence. In La Crosse, Wisconsin, a police officer is alerted to a man who had run through a red light with his head resting on the steering wheel. He was not sleeping, but hiding something troublesome. What's that uh, tin foil there on your seat there for? Uh, I'm not sure. Yep. Um, you can just put I that. On April 7th, 2021, late at night, lacrosse officers were dispatched to conduct a welfare check on a man driving recklessly. When the prosecutor approaches the car window, he notices the man's pupils to be minute and almost a speckle. The young man was also acting a bit erratic and giving nonsense answers. The police officers now know what to do. Just after opening the car's door, they noticed many tin foils folded with an illegal substance inside. The man was arrested and taken into custody at the local police station. In Moxie, Washington State, a 49-year-old man named Michael Roll is on the run from the police after committing a crime, seeking to evade law enforcement. Before the chase, Roll had collided with another man's car, having run a red light. He then menaced the victim by wielding a metal piece that had fallen from his car when the man was merely attempting to exchange insurance information. Subsequently, the police were summoned to the accident scene, but Roll quickly fled, initiating a high-speed pursuit. Within just a couple of minutes, his fate was sealed. Uh, 100 miles an hour, he's reckless, I'm gonna back off. 721, he's crashed, flipped over, 10 
Going along the curve on a wet road at over 100 miles per hour, Roll loses control of his vehicle and violently crashes a fence, rolling over it and getting stuck on the other side of the road. He was recovered unharmed, but now faces charges of hit and run, assault and driving under suspension. This man willingly asks to be arrested after declaring he has been in trouble with the law before. It's not gonna matter, I'm gonna pass your test. So, yeah, here you go. Right here. You gotta stop, yep. Observing a vehicle swerving out of its lane, La Crosse, Wisconsin, police officers opt to initiate a traffic stop. Inside the car, they encounter a 50-year-old man, identified as Lenny Gums, who reeks of alcohol. He declines a breathalyzer test and requests to be handcuffed. The reason for his actions is about to become clear. I mean, you got me. Oh, my God. No DUI. I'm so... Have you had a couple before? A couple, yeah. In an outburst of honesty, Gums claims that he has many warrants active and that this would be another DUI for him. He then says that he intended to be stopped by police just to get caught for his sanctions. A high-speed chase ends badly for this Ohio driver who thought he could get away from his crimes. Police officers were alerted to the robbery of a Kia, allegedly stolen by Cleveland native 28-year-old Anthony Carswell. Immediately, they took off to stop the culprit. After a few seconds and dangerously swerving between cars on a busy road, Carswell runs a red traffic light that changes everything. The Kia hits one BMW before crashing into two other cars. The dashcam video shows the driver, Carswell, fleeing the scene on foot. After locating and apprehending him, the police found a loaded firearm, pain relief pills, and cash in the car. Carswell is charged with many counts, including illegal substance trafficking, resisting arrest, and carrying a weapon under disability. The drivers of the car, although injured, are now safe. This college student is about to regret not staying silent. Well, it, it's, it's, man, you broke the, you, you broke the law, okay? You, you broke the law. You, it's, it's a responsibility when you take this stuff on. I, I, there's nothing I can do. It's a, a young girl attending college and majoring in accounting is seen crying and begging to be let go after being pulled over for speeding. Well, if it weren't for the speeding, police officers wouldn't have been able to find that she was carrying something illicit. I mean, did you tell them that, you, I mean, did you advise them if you had anything in there or no? Right, okay. In the video, the woman recklessly confesses to having an illegal substance in her car. After the police officer searches for it and decides to apprehend her, it becomes evident that she's too late to exercise her right to remain silent. You should never try to flee a police officer while carrying a trailer. In 2017, in Mesquite, Texas, a truck towing a reported stolen trailer caught the attention of a South Lake policeman. He signaled the truck to stop, but all he could make out was the driver briefly wearing a neon vest. The pursuit continued for approximately 15 minutes until the driver entered a tunnel, seemingly forgetting about the trailer. Suddenly, the truck gets stuck before turning left, but the driver manages to flee on foot. Not for long though, since he is quickly captured by the officers near Fair Park. The man was subsequently put under arrest. This could be the fastest police chase you've witnessed. In Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, a college student will reconsider taking what doesn't belong to her. Stop! Police, stop! I'm sorry. Were you? Late night, July 2023. Close to the stadium, a Myrtle Beach police officer casually witnesses a young woman with a ladder committing a felony. It takes him less than 10 seconds to get to her, and she immediately apologizes for what she was about to do. You are under arrest for attempted theft. All right, remain silent, right to an attorney. Boom, and what's the girl? After informing the woman of her rights, the police officer seized the tool she used for the theft. She had been attempting to escape with a road sign by climbing a ladder, but was ultimately arrested. In Madeira, Hamilton County, Ohio, 
Two suspects who stole a Honda Civic attempted to evade the police, hitting speeds of 100 miles per hour. Kimberly Overstreet, 26 from Cincinnati, and Kenneth Maldonado, 27 from Union Township, are being chased by Hamilton County Sheriff's officers for multiple warrants and connections to crimes. They have both been already related to homicides that had occurred in the area. It took just a bit more than five minutes for Overstreet and Maldonado to lose control of the car before it crashed into a parking lot. Trying to escape once again, the suspects were blocked by the police's vehicles. Overstreet and Maldonado's persistence didn't get them very far since they got arrested for many counts, including alcohol abuse and illegal substance possession. 